What is up everybody, Achilles here, back with some more Tormented Souls. I'm not where I need to be immediately, but we are getting started on discovering the bottom half of the morgue, which was right here, if I'm not mistaken. <gasps> Excuse me. So I know there's enemies down there, so I gotta be very, very, very careful. I saved, so I'm good. I still have really good health. I have really good ammo. Um, five saves. I'm still doing really good when it comes to my supplies. So I'm not worried in that aspect. But, oh, I went the wrong way. My bad. But, I still gotta be careful. Where was it? It was here to the right. Yeah, bingo. Let's go. So, there's already a light switch there. I don't know how far they are, that's the thing. Like, I know they're here. Come here, buddy. Do you, do you see me? Because I don't see you. Hello? 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 There you go. You see me now. You see me now. You see me now. Oh, I see a light here. You see me now. There you go, buddy. Come here and say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Quick reload. I gotta be careful because I'm running I'm running out of shotgun bullets. I don't wanna get too cocky. I'm gonna need it for like the big guy, I'm gonna be fucked. He's all stopped at 15. I don't know why. It appears they uh, passed away during a medical procedure. How long ha has this place been abandoned? He has like some metal thing on his on his side though. I don't know what that's for. Um. So there's a stick here. St st the staircase there. Is there something here? No. All right, let's go down. There might be another enemy, so let's let's be careful. Um. What is this? Flowers have been placed on top. Oh, oh, hi! I didn't even notice Mr. Skellington. Hi! Oh? Did I guess correctly? Did I guess correctly? Is that what I just did? I have located my father's secret laboratories that were hidden behind a secret passage in the morgue. The experiments are working. I was able to rep replicate Maria's condition by injecting her blood into a dying man from the hospital. I declared him dead on, me on a medical report. No one would know his passing. He has begun to show the first symptoms. If anything goes as plans, I will be long to I will be able to administer the first antidote before long. I ventured into the forest searching for something, anything that could lead me to my little girls, but as usual, I found nothing. I don't have returned to the mansion and stood paralyzed in front of the door that was once theirs. I cannot find the strength inside of me to open it. I genuinely believe that if I open the door and do not see them inside, sleeping soundly, I would not be able to keep on living. Test number 25 showed promising results, but only for a moment. After five minutes, the subject dissolved into a pool, ooh, pool of blood. Nevertheless, I am not discouraged. After five years of experimentation, I consider this progress. Five years of experimentation. Wow. Can I zoom in? Did I guess that correctly on the under the vial? On the skeleton? Like it was that really a, just a correct guess? Wow, I really guessed correctly. Wow. I, I wonder what would happen if I picked literally anything else. That's cool. Where was it? It was right here, right? This one? Yeah. Hello? Oh, I hate this. Oh, top down view. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate. Oh, what? Joseph? Hey, I finally have a reason to use it. Days? What? Do it again. Days? Are you serious? Somebody died behind these bars a long time ago. It was a young child. 
Okay. Days? Are you serious? Days? That's a long fucking time. I see a book. Oh, it's a tape! Nice! VHS tape, written on the label. Okay, well, I know where to use it, so that's good. I know where I can put it. Okay, so there's that. There's probably some he like hidden secret thing somewhere. But uh, until I get there, I have that unlocked now. That's a very long hallway, and I hate it. Okay, there's nothing... Oh, and I literally have an entrance directly into that room. So I just gotta go back up, and then I'm there. I hate the sounds, because I know nothing's happening, but it's still like... Either way. Cassette tape! No, no. Here we go. Play. Again? Oh, am, I, am I gonna relive the experiment? Oh, journey. Travel to the past. Oh, I see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Am I gonna do the experiment? Is that what's happening? Wait, what? What happened? What happened? Oh, I can just travel back and forth. Okay, I see. Your body was undergoing a... Oh my god, look at his face! What the fuck? Okay. Hi? Ew, hi. From that body. Oh, that was his 14. That says November 14. That's a different... Well, it's a different, it's a different time, so I, I would hope so. Okay. Where... Do I go? Oh, I see twin babies in the tubes. Oh. Do I pick the same one? I didn't know which one I even choose the first time. I just guessed. Once again, we have failed. The test subject lost her babies prematurely for the third time. Apparently, the placenta rejects the fetuses after the second month of gest uh, gestation. Maria suspects nothing yet, but I am not sure how many more times we can implant her with fertilized eggs. Consecutive miscarriages have severely compromised her mental well-being. My goodness. The experiments keep failing. All the fetuses are misshapen. I have an idea that will allow us to obtain more test subjects and accelerate the process, but to do it, I will have to do something terrible and innocent lives will be lost. I have faith that God will give us the, necess the necessary strength to complete our mission, no matter the cost. Our goal is sacred. Yeah, totally, buddy, totally. Okay. Well, it worked the first, the first time, so I guess let's pick the same one. Something missing? Okay. I clearly have to do something. Does that have to do with the body, maybe? His face is fucked up. Oh. Peonies, roses, or jasmine flowers. I could never remember. Though I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. Her cold skin under my caress. How she loved the poem is I would whisper to her. The disappointment I felt when I had to let her go. It wasn't until much later that I was able to scream into the wind. Oh, I see. It's a puzzle. I see. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Alright, hold on. Can never remember. I still feel the butterflies in my stomach. Her cold skin under my caress. How she loved the poems, I would whisper to her. I had to let her go. I was able to scream. No, scream into the wind. 
How many are there? Okay, so we have brain, voice, heart, hand, and stomach. Okay. So I'm assuming brain, I could not remember. Stomach, her cold skin under my caress. I'm assuming heart? Brain, stomach, heart. She loved the poems, I would whisper her. Brain, stomach, heart, whisper, let go, scream. Brain, stomach, heart, whisper, let go, scream. No. Ah! Alright, hold on. Could not remember. But it hurts in my stomach. Coast get under my caress. I'm assuming maybe hands this time. How she loves the poems I would whisper to her. Maybe that's what it is. Brain, stomach, hands, heart. Hand scream. Brain, stomach, hand, heart, hand scream. Brain, st stomach. And heart scream. <laughs> Jesus, I scared the shit out of me. Also, fucking finally, goddamn. So, it was brain, stomach, uh, touch, uh, voice this one was heart i kept saying let her go physical let her go touch but no heart and then voice again so that's what that's why i kept fucking up on but there you go i got it finally i didn't know it was gonna scream at me like that jesus does everything first try my video of this episode got corrupted so the first 12 or whatever how many minutes was the only part of the video that did not get corrupted but it stayed safe thankfully this specific video that got corrupted wasn't that adventurous it was more puzzles and stuff which you'll see in a second why it was puzzles but I have to redo it so, I just I had to replay the game because I didn't realize that it was corrupted until after I beat the game. So yay, let's get right into this. Where we left off before it corrupted, I just finished doing that little puzzle, which you just saw maybe 10 seconds ago. And now we're walking down this hallway and I wonder what's, uh, what is down here. Oh my god, it's the girl. Is it is it past me or is it my sister? Where's my coffee? Calm, okay? Everything will be all right. I promise. Okay, miss. Where are your parents? My father is on a business trip. 
he should be back in a couple of days. And my mother was also captured by those men. I'm so sorry. I'll get you out of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them, and I don't think it's a good idea that you get close to them. I'm sure there's a way to get the lock off without using the key. Please hurry. There isn't much time. We need to save Mother. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. Okay. Can I talk? Oh, man. Yeah, turn, turn, turn around. Does it say real? Oh, also, I went through the entire beginning of the game again without saving once. I saved only just now because if for any reason I need to replay it again, I have to save so I can just reload it. Have you found a way? I'm Please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, there's a chain. I wonder how I can open it. Corrosive acid. Oh, let's try that. Oh my god, it works. Oh, but what is this? It would take days to have an effect. What oh, dear. What have you done to the lock, miss? What have I done? I poured some acid on it. The metal will eventually dissolve, but it will take some time. I only hope that the acid works fast. There's almost no candle left. You have to be patient, little one. Sooner or later, the lock will fall apart. For now, the best we can do is wait. Thank you, miss. What is your name, little one? I'm Anna. Anna Wildberger. I live here in the hospital with my parents and my sister. Have we met before? Your face seems familiar, but I'm sure we've never seen each other before. Do you work in the hospital? No, but I have this photograph. Are you one of these girls? What? Why do you have this photograph? I don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. It was mailed to me a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? My father took that photo yesterday morning, just before he left for his trip. Why are you lying to me? I swear I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. What do you want from me? I just want to help you get out of here. I'm not talking to you anymore. That acid was probably another lie to fool me. You never wanted to help me get out. Anna, you have to listen to me. I need you to trust me. I am your friend. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Anna, listen to me. Oh, boo-hoo. Anyway, so whatever. She doesn't want to talk to me anymore, but we pour the corrosive on the metal. So with that being said, we can now go back into the presence where the corrosive chain will have melted off. And I now have access to go in. How do I get back here? All right. I now have access to get into that room. Assuming that the chain actually broke. But um, if, if we are correct, that must have been years ago. So I think a few years would definitely have taken care of the acid. So, no, no, I passed it. It was here, right? Where was it? Yeah, here, here, here. So, boom, cell is now open, the diary, something very odd happened, a woman holding a lighter that brightened my prison appeared from the darkness, at first I was afraid, but her features reminded me of mother, she came close to me and told me that she would help me get out of here, and she poured acid on the cell door lock, she showed me a, the picture that father took of Emma and me a couple days ago, and told me that she had received it in the mail more than a week ago. After that, she left with the promise of, turn of returning. The acid worked. The woman was right. I just needed to wait. Luckily, the student men have not arrived yet. I will find a place to hide until father returns from his trip. Boom. And there is the combin- I was looking at the computer. That is the combination key. It's missing a dial. But I have a dial, so I just match it. Boom. Now this is where I said it's a puzzle episode because now I'm gonna go ahead and open all the doors that require that special key. 
And luckily for you guys, I already know how to open them all. So that's going to save a lot of time on this episode. Because trust me how I say I was doing the doors for over an hour. Because I'm kind of slow, let's be honest. So, now I can just kind of just walk you through it, explain it to you. So you can see how I got to where, to where I got. In, um, in much less time. So now the very first one is going to be on the other side. Because that goes, oh no, isn't there one over here too or no? I believe so. If I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be at the end of the hall. Oh no, that's a battery. No, no, no. Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. It's a battery that connects to the hallway. I could be wrong. I could just check the map. That'd be nice. No, I'm correct. I'm 100% I'm correct. So we go through here. In the hallway with the two uh, statue armor things. Knights in armor. I guess they're not really statues. Cause, yeah. In here... Oh, but wait, there's an enemy. Oh, but wait, there's no enemy. So now, this is one. Now, no way to explain it. As you see, it's a broken jar and then it's a completed jar. So basically it's saying to f complete the image. If I remember correctly, the top one was, was it a square or a triangle? The top one, I believe, Let's say it's half of the image. So that means it would be a square. So that one. Watch me get it wrong. It was a while ago since I finished this specific recording. So I don't remember off the top of my head. This one was a star. It was it a star? No, I'm sorry. That one. No, that's a hexagon. Because that's not half. That's a piece of it. So if I'm not mistaken, it's this, the hexagon. And the last one is the pentagon. That's what it is. Pentagon, pentagon, pentagon. Boom. If, that, if I'm correct, let's go. Get attacks. <laughs> Either way. Well, oh, I forgot. I'm like, where am I? I forgot I needed a light. Jesus, that scared me. All right, so I forgot I didn't have my light on to begin with. Got another cassette tape, which we will do quickly. We will do. Uh, uh, so there are entrails on the floor. That's cute. That's a very, very cute. That was it. It was just a, a, a cassette tape. Well, it's not just a cassette tape. It's, it's important, the cassette tape. Still, uh, we will go through the cassette tape after I finish the other doors just because I need to come back in that direction either way. So I might as well continue forward to get everything else I'm missing. So we go through here, there's another one here, which this one is a lot more in depth. So you, you see what I mean now. Not, not the actual door, I mean, I mean after the door. Th this is easy. So, one, a, a line equals one. So the way I put it is that the numbers is how many sides it has. So obviously the first one is gonna be five, which is the pentagon again. So we go there, pentagon. The second one is three, which is a triangle. And the last one is actually tricky. Well, I, I thought it was tricky. It's eight. But it's not a hexagon or whatever. It's just two zeros. Or maybe I'm reading it wrong and it's just a big as zero. I don't know. But the last one is actually just the circle. That one. Unless that is a hexagon and I just can't tell. And there you go. So we have access here. And I gotta be careful because there's enemies here. Immediately take out my gun. Hello? Hello, governor. I don't think so, governor. You shall not pass. I 
feel like the game audio is very loud. And if it is, I'm sorry. Because if the game audio is loud, then I don't know how loud I am. I just, I just hope that this video gets uh, That's honestly my biggest issue. Don't get corrupted again. Please. Reload. Flash light. Or lighter, I guess. Whatever. And that's it. So we're going to do a little quick bypass in this area just so I can show you what's going on. I think that's it for the enemies. There, there weren't any other enemies in, this, in, the, in the other rooms. It was just that room specifically. Body is lying under the blanket. This is a uh, frozen dead body parts. Uh, and that was it, yeah. In this room. This is a bathroom connection hallway, so. Oh! There's a, there's a, a locker. I don't remember if there's anything in the locker. Probably not, but. Not in front of you. Alright, either way. So that's there. There's a little podium standing thing here, which you can actually interact with. And it's like a little monkey puzzle thingy, which this one was actually pretty cool. But I need this. A peculiar ship has been carved into the wood. I need a wooden dildo first. <laughs> so that I need to find. Um, I don't think, collectible wise, I don't think there was really anything in here for me to collect. Yeah, there's no collectibles. Yeah, there's no connectors here, so. But this door was locked, so I had to go through all that either way. And now with that, I go here. This is the other door I hadn't accessed yet. And here is a thy father. Father, what happened to you? You're in shock. We need to take care of your injury before you bleed out. Okay. It's, at these areas, it's at the point where it's more. Oh, I didn't see that. It's more um, like like progress and continuation, but not necessarily the fact that you need to um, you need to collect items. So there's a mirror there. That's actually one of those transcending mirrors that I can walk through. But let me finish here because I think there is something here in one of these areas. Yeah, you see, a clip of nails. And then this is locked. There's a weapon there. Oh! But it's locked. I don't have access to it as of right now. I thought it was a flamethrower. It's not. Kind of wish. I kind of still wish it was, but it's okay. What it actually is, it's pretty cool. But you guys can figure that out later. Now, this uh, mirror world, I'm not going to do. I'm just going to walk in because I think I showed this. And it's the voices of the damned. Say hello, everybody. Thank you. So, I'm not doing this area. I'm not. Uh, this, thankfully, I don't have to. Okay. We, you'll see that later. I don't have to worry about that right now, thankfully. But that's it for now. I still have two, two, two other doors I need to go through. And then, um, and then the cassette tape to show you. Important things are those two doors, which I can go this. Way. I can go this way because I don't think I killed the guy that was in there. I'm not trying to get hit now, of all places. So we'll go, we'll go this way. The other two are downstairs. One is downstairs in this side of the building, and then the other one is in the the beginning part of the building near the staircases. And now that I've already done previously done them, they're so much easier. Because both of those actually, I think, were the harder ones out of the four. The, the other two. These were kind of... Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, this one was easy, actually. This one was the easiest. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This one and the one I did just now upstairs were the two easiest. Because this one is just finished the puzzle. That's, that's a square. It's missing only one side. It's a square. The, the last one that I'm going to do... That one took me the longest because I'm kind of slow. 
but um, I'll explain more in depth when we get there at this one in stage. So square, tri uh, triangle, star, square, half triangle, half star. That one was very easy. This one was easy. That one took me a little too much time to get So now we are in here. And if you guys are questioning where here is, this is the other side of the, of the little thing here, the counter. Oh, let me read this. So, the new receptionist told me that no matter how hard he tries, he cannot unlock the cash register. It looks like the only one who can get it open is Dr. Sean Mayer, who's been missing for the last week. I checked his personal belongings and couldn't find anything more than a piece of paper under his desk. It's like someone erased all traces of him. Now, this piece of paper will come in handy, maintenance crew logbook, and I'll explain now in a bit. That is the, the clue, the key to opening up the cash register. But the way to solve it is not as... I, I'll explain it now. I'm going to explain it how I thought it was first, which was obviously wrong, and then I'm going to explain the correct way. I just collect whatever I need to collect in here just to show that I got it. So I think here, there's another save room. I have like so many. I have, what was that, 10? 10 save rooms? I only saved it one time. All right, so... The last one. No. Where is it? There. So the way I perceive this is that the on the number pad where the lines are, it's it's um how to put it? The dot where it's landing is the number. So let's say because the number pads are slashed, it would be the bottom right corner because there's a number above and that's the last. That's how I was perceiving it for all the four of them. It didn't really make sense halfway through though, because I was like, wait, that's kind of confusing. And it was confusing because I was wrong. And I figured it out on my own after a long time, but there's actually a clue right here. And I found the clue after I had already done the puzzle, which was hilarious. But basically what it is actually is that on the lines, however lines pass through the dot, that's the number that's gonna be. So on the top square, you have one diagonal and another diagonal, two lines, so the answer is two. On the bottom square, you have the two diagonals I'm sorry, you have the one diagonal and then the two sides, which is three. Those are the those are the answers. So that's an example. So now if we go back with that logic to the maintenance crew log, which was uh, three. Was it three? It was three. I'm not gonna lie, I can barely see because the screen is kind of farther for further away from me right now. So I'm assuming it's uh, uh zero, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, zero, four, one, four. I think that was really The screen is so far. I have so much stuff on my TV, so it's kind of hard to really see everything. But let's see. It would be, what was it? Zero, zero, four, one, four. There you go. I got a gold coin with a strange symbol. Now look at this. Now about gold coin, the only place I know where to use a gold coin is a vending machine. Which actually the only working vending machine was right here. So if we go right here, I forgot what the vending machine gave me, if I'm being honest. But this is just so put it there. It would light up which one to select. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a uh, no. It's Simon Says. You're not selecting anything. So you see, it glows. Bottom second second. I think it goes all the way to like six. Do the cassette tape real quick. You, no, no. There's a reason not. There's a reason I'm not going to. I'm not gonna do the cassette tape. Let me go do the uh, the last door, and then we'll come back. I will show you the cassette tape, and then we can call it there. That, that will be the end. That will be everything that I think I would have needed to cover for this episode. Everything else is pretty. Uh, everything else was 
the puzzles with the statue and everything beforehand. So I, I think I'm good. The last door is right here. Now this one. So alien pharaoh bees. This is place of origin or, or the significance of origin. So aliens would be... I was gonna say like UFO, but aliens are in the skies and they're stars. So they're we don't know where they're from. So this would be a star. Uh, the pharaohs, the Egyptians, whatever, made the pyramids, triangle. Damn, a lot of them are triangle. And then the honeycomb is a hexagon or octagon. Is that octagon or is that hexagon? I don't even know anymore. Either way, it's that one. It's a honeycomb. And... And in here, we have another diary. Damn it. All right, so. 17 September 1941. As I crept quietly through... As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30 a.m. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At Mother's tomb, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands on the cold, sculpted marble figure of his wife. He began praying. I felt guilty following him, seeing the cold and calculating man this way moved me. I was about to leave when Father stood up and approached my angel, the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed a exposed a narrow staircase leading into darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage. I saw Father's silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly followed him. Before, before me appeared... Oh, before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appears to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened the brake from the wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I had come. Their guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. I remember reading that, but I I feel like I only remember it because I read it during this recording. I don't remember if I read that previously. Just in case, I read it again. So, and then in here, oh, I, I remember now what's in here. In here is creepiness. More importantly, in here, oh, ammo for an electric lance. Here is a battery, which is perfect. Can I, is there anything else? And that's it. That's all there is. But honestly, that battery, I ha we have been looking for it for a millennia. Was there something there? Oh no, it's just the mic. Just the mic. Stop it. Oh. Oh, thank you, camera angle. I, I mean, I don't really need it anymore. But thank you, camera angle. So the that was weird. I don't know if you guys saw that that weird camera like adjustment thing. I don't know what it was, but either way, that's there. That's taken care of. Now we are going to go back through the cassette tape, and we're gonna show you what it is. The cassette tape, if I'm not mistaken, is, is right there. It's the uh, in front of the statue, the, the the fallen Jesus statue. I believe that's where it is. Let's go upstairs and we'll find out. Uh, no, no, no. Back, back up. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I should probably switch it up. That would be. Oh, shit, wait. I think I jumped the gun. I don't know if I did the, the chapel. I don't know if I did this because that's it. Because I think I remember in the beginning of the next video, it's talking about me having the. the the, jet, the the battery so everybody erase this from your memories you didn't see any of this this is this is not no this is all a lie this is all fake everything i've been telling you is a goddamn lie do not listen to me there is no chapel 
There is no father priest. There is no old state car battery charger thingy. <laughs> Shit, yeah. I think I jumped the gun on that. I'm sorry, I went a little too fast. Um, in that case, I think I'm, I think that's, I think I'm done. I have the, the blood vial. I think I'm done. I had all the doors already. I think. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, okay, I, I think I jumped the gun. So I, I'm gonna stop here. I guess you, you get to experience that in the next one, so you just like zoom forward. Or I probably edit this one, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But that's gonna be the end of this one. I hope I get everything correct. I hope I didn't miss any more information because I wanna make sure you guys are uh, thoroughly informed on everything that needs to be informed on. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Ring the notification bell so you don't wanna upload any new videos. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.